This is the fifth video in this series for Microsoft Word 2013 and in this video we'll try to get to the insert tab and try to talk about inserting pages and pictures and charts and stuff. So I'll try to get through as many as I can in this tutorial video. So the first thing I want to do is say I wanted to add a blank page. So this is my page one and I wanted to put a page above it. So I put my cursor here and I hit blank page so it will add a page on the top. So you see this is page 2 now and this is page 1. I'll just hit undo. Now if I wanted to hit put a page after this page, so I just go to the end of the page and I insert a blank page. So now you see there's a blank page on the bottom. That's page 2 and you can see on the bottom it's telling me here page 2 of 2 and it's also telling me how many words are there when I click it. I get this window. It's telling me how many pages I have, how many words, how many characters have I typed with spaces, without spaces. So it's counting what's happening on my document. And you can also insert a cover page. So if you're writing a paper, you can click here and you can choose one of the styles of a cover page. And the cover page will always go to the top of your document automatically. Let's just reduce the zoom a little. So here. I can go in and add my document title, subtitle, and I can even change the picture to whatever I want it to be, which I'll talk about here how to add pictures and make changes to it. I'll just come down here and I'll go to the blank page here. So say here or wherever you want, you just make sure to click click somewhere. I want to insert a table. So I click here. And now I can choose, I want, say, three rows and five columns. I click it, and there's my rows and column. Now you see here, I can, like, type whatever I wanted. So in here, I can start typing. So you can use the tab key to move over. And as you hit tab, 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 you come down, it adds a new one. Now, the thing you should be used to if you have been using 2007 onwards Microsoft Office is the tools on the top. So if I click away, you'll find there are no more tools on the top. When I click in there, now there are tools. So in these tools, you can make a lot of changes. I can choose a different design. And there are lots of different designs I can choose, whichever kind you like. And there is also an option to add shadings if you wanted to add your own coloring to it. Besides that, I can also change the f designs, like the thickness of the lines. So I can click here in the corner so that it highlights everything. And then I can choose uh, these different styles of lines as I like it and whatever borders I can say make it all borders and now I can choose the different line styles that I want and the colors and everything so you might need to click it to highlight it let's see if it works on its own let's say no border yeah, it doesn't work on its own you have to click to highlight <coughs> now in the table tools there's also an option called layout now this layout is really useful because I can click somewhere and I can say insert a row above so it will add a row in front of it. I can also insert a row to the left so it adds an empty row and if I want I can even delete this particular column. So you can add rows, delete rows, add cells, so you can move things around here. And I can click here in the corner and I can align my text. I can say put it in the center, all of them. So you can do that. And this A to Z button, which I talked about earlier in the first video I talked about in the home, there is this A to Z button here which is also available in the layout. So if I click somewhere and I choose to sort it, so if I click on number and I choose to sort it and it's asking me how do you want to put it, I'll say sorted by number ascending and I click OK. 
and I can say that there is a header row. So it puts two, three, four, and the blank one also shows up on the top. So if I want, I can delete this whole row. And if I go back to sort, and I can say sort it by first name. So now it puts things in alphabetical order by first name. And if I want to delete the whole table, I can go to the delete, and I can choose to delete the table. And remember, if you don't remember these buttons on the top, always think of right click and you can insert rows below if you want. You can do that. You can do also do right clicks. You can also do certain formulas by using this FX formula button. I can I click in this box here under the number because there are numbers above it, so I can add them if I click on FX formula and it's doing equal to sum of above. And there are a lot of other functions you can do, like average and things like that. So it's just use the word above, that means whatever is above. And I click OK, and it puts the fun sum 9, which is the total of all of those numbers. So there are different ways to do different calculations. You can do a count above, so it will count how many rows are above it. So again, if I want it, I click, I can go to delete, and I can delete the whole table. And the whole table is gone. So the same way, if I want it, I'll just come to some content here. I can insert a picture. So pictures are usually from your computer. So if I click on pictures, I can go to my sample pictures and pick any one of these sample pictures that you like. Double click on it. The pictures added and you get picture tools for it. So if you click away, no picture tools, you click on it. Now what they've done is they've added some new features like this one. When I click at layout option, I can choose that, hey, make this picture to fit inside it. So by making this option, which is saying that I want the layout to be in line with text, but I want the text wrapping to be tight, and I'm going to go to the corner of the picture, look for the arrow, reduce the size. Now when I move the picture, the text will work around it. And one of the new features in Word is you see the line above it. So you see that line showing up. So it's giving you a guideline to move the lines. And also in here, there is an option that I can say move with text or I can say fixed position. So when the text moves, the picture will just stay there. But this with option, I, I'm able to make the words move. So the wrapping is what allows and you see the line came up. Allows you to move the picture. And you can do it from this wrap text option. And there are lots of different options. So you can now, they've given you a shortcut from here. And you can always resize things. There's this option here. You can turn it around at an angle. Now if you look in the picture tools, there are different ways like you can show the picture in. You see there are different options like reflections, frames, and there are lots of other ones. Oval. You can change those things. There are options like you can make color corrections and shading corrections. They have options for color, like you can make it different shades. Like once I have this lighter shade, I can do a wrap text and I can move the picture behind text. So now the picture is in the background because I've the shade is lighter and I can choose the wrap to be behind text. And they also have artistic effects, different kinds that you can look into and you don't want it, you can just hit the delete on the keyboard and the picture is gone. So that's under insert pictures. And you can also insert online pictures so there you can click it and now you can find some pictures online. If you I've signed into my account on my email and my SkyDrive so you can like browse to the pictures you stored online. There is also ways to get clip art. So if I type say PC and I hit enter. Now it's going to show me clip arts from Microsoft Office, which they might have. And you can search for anything you want. Click it. 
and insert. Now the picture is inserted. You can do the text wrap and you can make it tight or through. And then I can reduce the size and I can move the picture around. And then again the same options applies to it. I can hit delete to delete it. Under insert I can insert shapes. So I can choose different types of shapes. And again the shapes too you can do the wrapping. So that's the most, most, the most important thing. I can put behind text, make it tight. And then there are options for formatting drawing tools where I can put colors. I want to put a text in here. I can right click and I can add text. Now I can type. And then I can highlight it and I can start making changes to font sizes. Don't want it? You can hit delete to delete it. And I just want to show you one more thing. If I insert pictures, I'll go to the corner to reduce the size. Keep going further. Okay, and I can do the wrapping if I want. Now in the picture um, style, so in the picture layout, I can choose one of these styles and you can see the changes happening to it. So you can choose that to, to add text next to it if you wanted it. So I can then put a some kind of a text around it. I can close this window. And now they have more options that if you want to affect the colors of it. And again if you don't want it we can delete that picture. So coming back to insert, I can insert, uh, we talked about shapes, I can insert smart arts. Smart arts, you know, where they have different designs where you wanted to make a process cycle or you wanted to make a hierarchy chart that those CEOs, president type of things. If I go to smart art, you see they have list, process, you know, where you can make like a circular, how to go from one step to the other, a cycle, a hierarchy. So if I want, I can choose a hierarchy. I'll choose this design. I click OK. And now I can start typing, say, CEO, then President, then I can make this VP Marketing, VP Sales, Finance. And we got the tools for it. You can affect different colors. You wanted to add some assistance, say I wanted to add an assistant to VP, I can right click, add shape, add assistant. And now I've added an assistant. And wherever I want it, I can do that. I can even delete things. You can also use buttons from up here, add shape buttons, or you can right click on it to choose it. And you can change the layout to different layouts and then they have different styles within each and every one of them to make it look a little different so they all have their little variations and again this you can change the layout to make it work around the text so you see there it is you see how it is working around the text let's look at print preview to get a better view of it and there it is. Because it's all about the wrapping. Don't want it, click it, delete it. So you can insert any type of smart arts. You can insert charts. So if you didn't want to make it in Excel, you can just make click on it. And then you can choose what kind of a chart you want. Column, pie charts, I'll click column, click OK. And it will open like an Excel type window where you can type in your information. So you see there's this Excel window. And then, then in here I can type Jan, Feb, March. And up here I can type North, South, East, West. And you can change the numbers to add more stuff. And I can close this. And those things will show up here.
Jan, Feb, March. And again, you can do the wrapping. There's a lot of other design elements available that you can change things into. We'll be, I'll be looking about this in, in the Excel workshop, but I'll talk about this more. And you can change colors to affect And you can do the wrapping and you can say, you know, make it tight or between. So you can move it around. I can even put it behind text. So for that, better to keep the lighter. Don't want it, I can delete it. You may have to click on the edges and you can delete it. I'll just bring it back. I hit undo. Now, if you wanted to, you can always go back in there and you can edit your data. So you can always do that by choosing that. I'll hit delete. I can go back to insert. I can choose to insert a screenshot. So if I click it, screen clipping, and I'll just clip something. And it adds that screen clipping to my screen. So you see, it's added that screen clip to Microsoft Word. And now again, you can do the wrapping and the picture styles and any other things that you wanted to do. Picture effects. There are lots of different ways. Shadows. And you can delete it. I can insert. There have this thing called apps for Office. I've just opened it. So they have created this. Like if you've seen, there's the, the iPhones and Androids all about apps and Microsoft's trying to add. So they have some free apps and some paid apps that you can install for Microsoft Word. So they have this percentage calculator which is free and there's a quite a few in here. Some of them are free and then some of them you have to pay money for it. And they'll be adding more and more apps as time goes on. And then if you have it, then you'll see it listed here. I haven't installed any apps at this point. You can insert Word Art. So I can choose any of these designs. And then I can type my word, you see in the corner there. And then you can choose. So there are different ways of typing these word arts. There are different designs that you can choose. And I can hit delete to remove it. You can insert, I'll click here, insert some symbols, like special symbols, you know, like copyright symbols. TM symbols because you cannot just type it. So if I click TM and that TM symbol is added there. And you can add any other symbols by going to more symbols and you'll find like a whole bunch of symbols that are available and whichever you want you can add it. You can also add equations. So there are lots of different designs of equations. You add it and now you'll get equation tools where by which you can go and and add any other things you wanted to add and make your equations even more complicated or simplified and so this is a nice way to add equations to your documents if you needed it and I can click here and then delete it. Now one of the new features they've added in this is that you can add a online video so if I choose insert an online video and I can do a search on Bing which is um, Microsoft search engine or if you are on a YouTube video you go into the share option and you get the embed code so I'll just right click on it and copy it let's see if it works I haven't tried it and so I'm trying to get the embed code sometimes you might have to use the old one so let's see if this works and I'll click here and I'll paste it and I'll hit the search option and there it adds it. So if I hit play um, it's doing something so at least it added something there but not completely so it seems like that thing didn't work properly it crashed my system so I would try later on use the old use old embed code and then highlight and copy this and try to paste it in there and it might work but I know that when I did insert online video and I just went into Bing search and let's say if I type Wimbledon enter and I'll click on any one of these and insert it 
and you see the image is there and I can click play on it it should start playing the actual YouTube video in this case and it plays the YouTube video so you can insert online videos into your document as a link so people can click on it and watch it so that's a really good way of adding videos you can also insert date and time wherever you want so I can click on date and time choose a particular date I can also choose update automatically and then the date is added there and then when I start it tomorrow it will be tomorrow's date in there and we'll look at some more things in the next videos about inserting headers and footers I'll just briefly talk about adding a signature line you know where people sign it so I can go to the bottom and I can click wherever I want and I can insert the signature line and I can type the name who's suggested signers title manager whatever and then the person's email address and then click OK and there it is and you want to edit it you can right click on it and then you can go to signature setup and you can edit it so hope this video was a decent introduction to understanding how to insert your tables and pages and pictures and shapes smart arts charts and we'll look at some more things in the upcoming videos thank you for watching